This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and test slash demo of this EMF tester. So EMF testers are typically used to uh, detect like radiation levels as well as uh, uh, do like little inspections of electrical magnetic fields, what's what EMF stands for. Uh, typically around the office, outdoors, and one of the more popular things today, ghost hunting. So given that Halloween is kind of coming up in another, what, month and a half from now, uh, some people might be looking at EMF testers for fun, for spooky stuff. I'm actually in the process of printing a whole bunch of Halloween stuff on my 3D printer, uh, glow-in-the-dark Halloween stuff. So, uh, yeah, so why did I buy this? Because as you can see, I already have an official K2 meter from uh, St. Augustine in Florida. So I'm gonna be actually gifting this to somebody. So I had ordered it from Amazon. Then there was a massive price change due to a lightning deal. I called Amazon, they said, you have to order both, return the more expensive one, blah, blah, blah. So I said, all right, well, if I'm gonna go through that hassle, I'm gonna unbox and open and do a review on the EMF tester that I'm gonna return shortly. Might as well get some use out of it. They make me uh, have to go out of my way to do that rather than just give me the difference. That's what happens. So take that Amazon. So this one here is not the one I'm going to be gifting to somebody. This is the one I'm going to be unboxing now and then returning to Amazon in the next 30 minutes. So this EMF tester, what makes it unique compared to mine? It's got an LCD screen. That's first and foremost. It's got several different modes to it. This one here is uh, measures the, uh, I don't know what the MG stands for, but that one I guess. My K2 meter measures milligauss, which is the magnetic field. The higher the magnetic field, the more dangerous uh, something is. Uh, when it comes to ghost hunting, the higher the magnetic field, the more likely something is close to you. Got an indicator light as well, and more complex on-off button than this. Uh, you can switch units with the button there, obviously. And the most important thing, it's got a rechargeable battery. So back when I picked up this one, I picked it up as a combo with my uh, spirit box, which is basically a box that's supposed to talk to the dead. I do have a review on it on my channel somewhere. Go ahead and search for it when you're free if you want to check it out. Uh, I paid a lot of money because of the spirit box and shipping from Florida. Uh, now apparently you can get EMF testers for cheap, cheaper and not have to buy them in a combo pack. Because had I not bought this in a combo pack, it probably would have only cost me 30 bucks versus these ones are about 50 on Amazon right now. Um, is it worth the extra 20 bucks to get the built-in battery? I think so, but this one here is actually an official ghost hunting one. While this one here is a ghost hunting application, one of the many uses you can use for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by unboxing it. So you got the manual half Chinese, half English. Tells you basically the charging indicator, the measurements. Uh, gives you the range. Oh yeah, this is the very important thing here. So this range here, you need to make sure it's from five Hertz uh, up to 2000 plus. That's kind of what you need to be in the whole ghost hunting range, if I remember correctly. So that's why this one here was one that I picked was because it is in that range. I've already charged this unit up with the USB cable. It's just a USB-B connection here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And I've already set it to the MG, which is the same one I use for ghost hunting with my K2 meter. So you can change the units to UT or MG. Then I don't know, uh, sorry, I don't know all the terminology for this stuff, but it is a pretty good meter for everything. I know a lot of people aren't going to be using this for ghost hunting, but it is a good meter overall. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my actual ghost meter. So that's what they look like when they're both zeroed. They both read at the top here. So if I point it towards, I don't know, I have to point it towards a fridge or microwave or something, and then it'll get, give you the radiation level that's coming off of it. Uh, so how does this work for ghost hunting? Uh, ghosts supposedly give off an, an energy, like an electromagnetic field. And when there's one nearby, this meter goes off. So if you're doing the Ouija board, you set one of these down. And then as you're doing the Ouija board, you keep an eye on it to see if it goes off, that kind of thing. Or if you're in a haunted place, you walk around and then it'll start beeping if there's something around you. And the scary part is, is a lot of these haunted buildings don't have power to them. And if this thing goes off, it's typically not an electromagnetic interference from a fridge or something. It's probably a spirit 
So for those of you that believe, this one here is really good and this one is just as good with an LCD screen. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and proceed to do a couple radiation tests on my 3D printer and maybe a couple things around the house. All right, so here's my 3D printer. So first I'm gonna take my, oh, this thing is going nuts. First I'm gonna take my K2 meter, put it around here, see if there's any radiation. If there's any, it's probably gonna be at the top, yeah. So this other meter is going nuts as well. I have a lot of electronics in my house, by the way. Okay, so with my normal K2 meter, this one here is specifically tuned for MG and it doesn't detect voltages like the other one. So specifically for electromagnetic field. So obviously there's tons coming off the extruder head here. So if this were a ghost, or if you were in an area that was open with no power and this was doing what you see here, that would probably mean there's a spirit nearby. But because I am pointing it at my 3D printer where there's a lot of power and radiation uh, radiating off of this thing because it's an extruder head and it's melting plastic at a really high temperature, you can see it go off. Uh, it doesn't go off on everything, so it is pretty accurate. So even on my fan here, it's giving off just a bit of radiation. I don't know if you can kind of see that light blinking lightly on and off. So that's basically the regular K2 meter I have, the one I specifically bought for ghost hunting and not the multifunction version, which I am reviewing for everyone that's looking for an EMF reader. So this thing here, um, because it does volts per meter, it also kind of tells you if there's power going to something. So as you can see, there's tons of power here because I am literally surrounded by tons of electronics. So it's going nuts right now. But I'm gonna change the units of the MG just so we can get an idea of, so see, just like the other machine, this one's giving me a reading of 83, 82, but the volts per meter have died down. So I know it works, I know it's accurate. It's just like the K2 meter, which is pretty sweet uh, because now you're getting a full on multifunction device plus the ability to detect ghosts uh, in an all-in-one device. When you're doing ghost hunting, uh, here's kind of the guide on here. 20 plus is, there's definitely something and there's 10, 2.5 and all that. So as we saw when we went up to here, it's giving me a rating of well over 80. So that's because there's an electromagnetic field coming off of there. So funny enough is I go away from my 3D printer and the volts per meter dies down. So really cool device. I'm actually gonna go down here and go closer to my power tower. And you can see like this thing is giving off tons and tons of volts. I'm giving a reading, it's at 89.92, it's going up and down in the red, so this thing is active. This might actually be a really cool tool to uh, tell you if a wire is live. I would not use it for that because I don't know, but it, it might give you that electromagnetic field, which is cool. So if I put this right on top of here, it skyrockets 200 plus. Uh, very, very neat tool, actually. It, um, the person I am gifting this to is really going to enjoy this because... Um, they're probably going to use it just for ghost hunting, but at the same time, it's got all the other cool stuff going for it. So my 3D printer, so it looks like even the fan here is giving off power. So there's not really much to demo. Uh, it works. I like the fact that it beeps. I like the fact that the screen lights red when you're near high voltage. You can actually disable the beeping sound, which I'm going to do here. So I can uh, finish the video properly. Uh, you can rotate between the different uh, units. It gives you a little warning. You're near an electronic, uh, an E-field electronic field. It's got a battery indicator meter. So there you go. If you're looking for an EMF meter that does everything, including ghost hunting, great buy. Uh, I am not being paid by this company. I bought this out of my own pocket and will be returning it because Amazon doesn't refund differences. Um, so that's basically it for this. Highly recommend it if you're looking for one. Uh, for those of you that keep track, I got this off of a lightning deal for I think it was 40 bucks. So a little cheaper than um, full price if the lightning deal does come up, but otherwise even at full price, it's worth it. Especially when you consider this one here is between 30 to $40 and it's a really basic unit that you gotta put your own batteries in. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say five star, go ahead and buy it, pretty cool device, uh, highly recommend it. There is another version of this that detects temperature. Uh, it looks cheaper than this, so I did not go for it. 
Uh, and by the way, this one is not cheap at all. Like this one actually feels cheap compared to this one. This one feels pretty heavy duty. Like it's ABS plastic all around. Feels sturdy. Um, I'm kind of jealous actually because this is mine. I'm very tempted to maybe sell this and buy myself one of these. So, okay, that's it for today's video. So we got an Eric Hill RT100, uh, EMF meter, great device. Uh, if you like my video, please like it. Leave your comments and questions below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm. Whitebot out.